In this video, we're going to have a look at how to determine the average gradient between two points on a graph. Here we have the sketch of the straight line y is equal to 2x plus 5. A straight line has a constant gradient, and that gradient can be seen in the equation by looking at the coefficient of x. So in our example, the gradient is 2. Just a reminder that the gradient gives us the change in y in terms of the change in x. This is calculated by getting the difference between the two y values and dividing that by the difference between the corresponding x values. So let's check the gradient of our sketch by using this formula and the two given coordinates. If I substitute, I will have 7 minus 3 divided by 1 minus minus 1, which is 4 divided by 2, and that does give us the given gradient of 2. But when it now comes to any other curve that does not form a straight line, that curve does not have a constant gradient right through. With a curve, the gradient changes from point to point, and it sometimes even changes from a decreasing to an increasing gradient. This is why we can only talk about a gradient when we have a straight line. For any other curve, we can determine the average gradient between two specific points. When we want to determine the average gradient between two specific points on a curve, we are going to take those two coordinates and draw a straight line between them. And then we're going to calculate the gradient of that straight line. Because the straight line is the only function with a constant gradient. So the average gradient is determined exactly like we determine the gradient of a straight line. In this equation, they just used function notation. So instead of writing the numerator as y2 minus y1, we are saying how you determine those two values. So I'm reminding you that f of x2 means that we are going to substitute the second x value into the equation to determine the y value that goes with that. Let's have a look at an example. Given function f, which forms a parabola, determine the average gradient of this function f between x is 1 and x is equal to 4. So as I've mentioned, this average gradient means that we draw a straight line between the two given points and then calculate the gradient of this line. Now it is your choice whether you separately determine the two y values or immediately substitute that into the equation. I'm going to number the two x values just to make it easier. And now I'm going to determine the y value when x is equal to 1. This I do by substituting 1 everywhere in the equation. This will give a y value of 0. Next, I can calculate the y value when x is equal to 4 by substituting 4 everywhere in the equation. And this will give me a y value of 6. Now we can go and calculate the average gradient, which has the symbol m with a line on top. This is y2 minus y1, which we just calculated, divided by x2 minus x1. This will give me 6 divided by 3, and that means the average gradient between these two points is 2. As mentioned earlier, you can do all of this in one equation by immediately substituting. Because my x values will be 4 minus 1, I'm going to start off determining the y value when I substitute 4, and then subtract the y value I will get by substituting 1. This will again give me that average gradient of 2. From the sketch, you can see that the gradient between these two points are actually a whole lot of different gradients. And this average gradient of taking the straight lines gradient is not very accurate. 
even though for grade 11 we are only going to calculate this average gradient, in grade 12 we'll have a look at how to determine the accurate gradient at any point on a graph. Example, given a hyperbola, the question is to calculate the average gradient between x is minus 4 and x is minus 1. So again, we know that average gradient means that we draw a line between these two points and then calculate the gradient of that straight line. This time, I'm going to calculate the average gradient by immediately substituting into the equation. I'm going to choose to make x1 minus 4 and x2 minus 1. So in my denominator, I will have minus 1 minus minus 4 and then in the numerator, I'll first calculate the y value when I substitute x with minus 1. So that will be 2 divided by minus 1 plus 4. From this, I will subtract the y value that I get when I substitute x with minus 4. So my y values will be 2 and 3 and a half. And in the denominator, I can simplify by saying minus 1 plus 4 is 3. So my average gradient is minus a half.